Hi there, welcome in. It's Reader and Medium Rosalind, how you doing? It's good to see you all out there. Love spending time with you. I have been very busy. You all haven't seen me in a, in a little while, but sometimes we need to catch up on things and I have a lot of things going on. I hope you've had a chance to see all of my readings. Um, some of you are gonna watch the Zodiac sign readings. You may be very drawn to those. Some of you may just like all the different topics and the energies that I cover with love, prosperity, family, and other issues, okay? So today is June 21st. Let's see what's going on uh, to carry us through the rest of the month. Um, the readings that I do this week will be about the energies for the rest of June 2023, okay? It does feel like a very special time, doesn't it? Is it because of solstice? Hmm. <laughs> Let's see what the energies are. What should they know right now? Please protect me in the divine highest white light as I move forward to find out what we should know about now until the end of July. What's happening here? What's happening here? <clears throat> what is happening? What should they know right now? Okay, let's see what we have here. We have the Magician in Reverse. We have the Ten of Wands in Reverse. We have the Hermit in Reverse. Page of Wands. Let's see what's on the bottom here. We have the Six of Pentacles in Reverse. We also have the tower and it's in the upright. Now the tower being in the upright means that there is something finishing up here, okay? There's something finishing up. Queen of Cups here, I think that some of you may have given your heart and soul to something, okay? Your nine of pentacles is in reverse because you didn't manifest what you, what you were trying to manifest here. Some of you are still struggling with goals and plans and you feel like even though you went up this hill and you tried to carry this weight, to get to your goal, it did not manifest. Some of you are giving to the wrong people, the wrong situation, the wrong job, uh, the wrong people in your family. I feel like some of you may have even taken someone in, maybe someone moved in with you. You may have tried to help someone in the community, um, even other people at work. But someone's ego, I feel, got in the way and blocked some of this, okay? The tower is here because Someone could not reciprocate. They couldn't have equal give and take here. And no matter what ideas you had and what intentions you had to keep going and to keep moving and help, this was not going to work out, okay? This could have been parenting, co-parenting also, okay? I feel that you need to give the self-love back to yourself. You need to put that love and attention and kindness back into you. Because after you dealt with this, your cup is not full anymore. And I'm hearing spirits say they want your cup to roll, run over. Okay? Not roll over. Run over. <laughs> yeah, because you, you might have even lost some money here. I hope that none of you have went bankrupt or broke your bank account trying to help this situation, this person. But... It's almost like failure to launch, okay? They couldn't work together as a team. Yeah. Three of three of uh, pentacles is in reverse. They couldn't work together with you. They couldn't work together well in their past either with some people. If you really review this, things in the past with this person, it might not have worked out well. Knight of pentacles. Now, for some of you, what I'm curious to know about is if you did give to like a Ponzi scheme, an MLM scam, um, putting your money into something because someone promised you it was going to grow and it was going to get larger and you were going to um, manifest all this that you invested. Um, I just want you to know this person's heart was not in the right place. They really did scam you if you need that confirmation. What about the legal stuff? Because I feel like some of you need to be rewarded your money back if you put a lot of money into this. You may need your money back here. What about it? Six of Swords, recovery, healing, peace of mind. You are going to recover. Okay? You are going to recover. You just need to move away from this situation. 
keep going away from this situation, make new goals, new plans, new dreams. Yeah. It's going to end because it's, it's not right to begin with. Yep. So even if this person tries to come back at you with the same situation, the same scenario, I want you to know that it's a cycle for them. This is what they do. Don't blame yourself. Okay, so don't be surprised or shocked if this person comes back in with some junk, some shit. You know what I'm saying? Close the chapter out. It's the world. Close this out. Walk through a new door. Just close this out because, yeah, you're getting all kinds of confirmations that this was not going to work out right. For some of you, like I said, this is work, financial, rebuilding afterwards after you've been hurt, scammed, helping someone. For some of you, this is all about love, a third party, co-parenting issues, trying to be open. And then it kind of blew up because it wasn't going to go anywhere. Wheel of Fortune in reverse here, okay? Someone's being sneaky, Seven of Swords. It's really confirming itself, okay? So what I'm seeing here is you rebuilding. Go ahead, do some spiritual baths, okay? You can even look on my website. You can ask me whatever questions you would like about, you know, rebuilding emotionally, spiritually with root work, with affirmations, with ancestors who love you, with your spirit guides who have always been there since your birth, okay? With your own soul mission, your own soul purpose, which will usually take you to a realm of peace and calm in your life. Good way to start over again, right? Okay, so that is your reading. I will talk to you all again soon, okay? Take care. Bye-bye.